Hello and welcome. Look at this map, dude. Look at this freaking map. Beautiful. I'd love to tell you that I made it, but I did not make this map. I'm not that good at making maps, nor do I have that kind of time, nor do I have that kind of patience. Big thank you to Miskatonic. But we're not here to talk about the map. We're here to watch eight kingdoms fight over this map. Now, for these sort of big fantasy map war videos that we do, we usually do four kingdoms. We usually do one of each race. But today we're going to do two two of each race, because I'm feeling a little bit quirky today. We're gonna put the first group of orcs up here. It's pretty good land, it's just small, and they're gonna have to eventually get over the river into what will be good land, but we'll be putting people out here, so they're gonna have to fight them. So that's one. Let's put the other one out here in the snow. Once again, it's not terrible land, it's just not great land, you know? That's fair, right? That's fair. Okay, now for the elves being the weakest race currently, we're gonna try to give them good land, and then we'll give the humans and dwarves the, like, kind of normal land. So let's give the elves over here this land. I feel like that's pretty good. They got a lot to work with. It's all grass. And let's also give them this kind of blessed area down here. There we go. Looking good. Okay, humans. Let's give the humans, because they're pretty strong. Let's give them decent land, but not amazing. Let's give some humans candy land. Oh, well, they gotta fight the bear first. That's right. Kill the bear. Can you do- Oh, no, not another one. Oh, no. Yeah, that's right. You gotta earn this land. You gotta kill a couple murderous gummy bears first. Let's make it happen. There you go. You figured it out. Okay, so humans there. I think I want to put the other humans out here in the desert. It's a lot of good space, but the desert usually is pretty slow, and there's lots of snakes. So we'll give them, we'll give them the desert. Put them kind of up, up here. There you go. All right. Dwarves? I already kind of decided we're gonna put them over here looking good And then where do we not have anyone maybe out here in the mushroom area? There we go cool This map is so big that we just placed eight kingdoms and it feels like there's still plenty of room also, huh? Ooze of death. I'll give you the ooze of death. Hey, what's going on here? Holy ship -mo? holy ship no, dude, get out of here. All right, they need a little help over here. They're getting killed by gummy bears. Okay, everyone looks good. All right, let's check the rules here. Today, we're doing something absolutely wacky. We're turning on rebellions. Can you, can you believe that? I don't think we've ever done that for one of these videos before. Rebellions on. Now, just a heads up, in case I decide that this sucks, maybe we'll turn it off because I really don't know. I really don't know how much this will affect it, but I think it might be a good time to try it, so we're gonna try it. Disaster's off, and everything else looks good. Let's turn biome overgrowth off. Bada bing, bada boom, looks good. Now, all we gotta do is pick a favorite. Someone out here. Dakush? Nah. Yesus? Ochoka? You know, we're gonna name them, all right? Let's name him George. I don't think we've done George before. There we go. George is our guy. George is our boy. We like George. George is cool. George is chill. He lives in the realm of Kakiv. Kachiv. Kachow? The realm of Kachow. You know, let's make all these a little easier to read. We got Great Vaughn. We got Great Vaughn. Screw it. We got Bad Og. We can handle that. What's this? Did they have a rebellion already? Or are they just split off? I don't know. Ota Fees Land? How about Fleas Land? They got fleas out there. Great Obak? How about just Great Bach? Strong Uh huh. <laughs> I like that one. Oriel Stones. Or Stones. Yeah. Anoid Kingdom. Oh no, Kingdom. Okay, we're looking good. I like what we got going on here. Oz As. I think we can handle that one. Crank the speed up to times five here. So we're not here all day. Now take note, it is year 1600 right now. And uh, it's going to go on for a long time. This is one of the biggest maps we've done. Not the biggest map we've done for this. We've done some ridiculously sized maps, um, ones that you can only make so big with mods, but this is actually an iceberg sized map, which is the biggest map you can do while playing by the game's rules. Okay, we got some villages spawning out here. Good for those guys. Now I want to tell a little story about my guy, George. George is a good guy, you know, he works hard. He's out here harvesting bushes, I don't know, palm trees. Look at these power naps he takes. He gathers a little bit, he goes takes a nap. Or no, maybe he just dropped off the berries. I like to think he's taking a nap because it's important to balance rest and work. You know, sleep, work, game. Those are the three, the three things a person needs. Work, sleep, and gaming. So he's working, he's sleeping and gaming in there. I'll bet you anything he's sleeping and gaming. Good for him. And if you think about it, me as the player of this game, I'm kind of the god of this world, you know? Maybe it sounds a little narcissistic, maybe it sounds a little psychotic, but you know, I, I kind of am. I can do whatever I want. These people going about their lives. And I'm just gonna say, George has really impressed me. And I wanna give him the favor of the gods. 
God. The angels have come down and told George, Hey George, you're cool as hell. We like your work ethic. And we want to bless you with immortality. George didn't really know what to say, but he got immortality. Good for him. He also got, I don't know, he also got super health and fire resistance. Don't get it twisted, all right? We're not about to make this guy the advantage of the world and make them win because they have George. I just want to have a little guy to pay attention to, all right? And I don't want him dying when I'm not paying attention. So George is out here living his life. Oh my gosh, he's 41 and his hair turned gray. Also, my guy needs some health. There you go, George. Feeling better? Didn't even heal you all the way? All right, you know what? Heal yourself. We'll check back on George later, all right? All right, so what we got going on here? Both elf kingdoms are leading in population by a lot because they populate the fastest. We've seen it happen a bunch of times. Does that mean they're going to win? No, they are not going to win. I can pretty pretty heavily guarantee they're not going to win. Um, I've been wrong in the past, but the elves, they just, as soon as they get in a fight, they get wiped out. So we're just, you know, rooting for them. Good for you guys, doing your best, but it ain't going to work out for you, so give up. We got the... Orcs down here in the 60s. All the humans, dwarves, and orcs are kind of all in the same spot here. About 50 to 60 population each. Although this one split into two, so there are 40 and 40 basically. So, ooh, Ono Kingdom just declared war on ore stones. Okay. Right now they double their population, so this being as early as it is, if they're quick and they send big enough armies, they could actually wipe these guys out and take their land. Although the dwarves are pretty strong and the elves are pretty dang weak in a fight, so, you know, we'll see what happens. But the elves kind of being trapped back here means they do have to take someone out in order to move forward. And they do have the blessed trait because they're in the enchanted biome, so you know what, maybe that'll work out for them. I'm really hoping so. You know, as much as I think they're weak, I do like to root for them because I like them. They're cool, elves are cool. All right, we can agree on that. I don't know if you guys are watching the new Rings of Power show. I know not everyone likes it, but I just, every time I see the elves in anything, I'm like, elves are cool, man. All right, we're going. Their, their population's hanging steady around 50. I don't think the elves are going to take it. Um, in fact, it looks like the elves' population is now dropping, but neither of these two kingdoms are quite big enough to really take anyone out, so I'm not sure that anything's going to happen there. Where's our boy at? George is scouting out the infernal biome. Good for him. Checking out, make sure it's safe. It's not safe, by the way. Thanks for finding that out for us, George. Really appreciate it. Happy 63rd. Oh, happy 64th birthday. Oh, happy 65th birthday. Congratulations. Oh, happy 66th birthday. Congratulations. Oh, did I get it? Flea's land has just declared war on Oz as. Again, a giant elf kingdom. They're up to 200. Oh, they're at war with Oz as and strong. Uh huh. Whoa, and okay. This elf kingdom is now at war with all three orc kingdoms at the same time. Now, if they had just decided to go against Oz as, I think they could have wiped him out and then maybe taken over Bad Og after that, but all three at once? We'll see. Although, since everyone is across rivers, I don't even know if they can really fight yet, so the whole thing might just be a bunch of noise without a lot of follow through. This is going to be a nightmare for whoever takes this island over. That's so much corrupted biome to deal with. We've also got this lovely lemon island that's available for purchase. Hopefully, someone takes takes it. We got a wasteland biome island. You know, it's livable, but I would say stay away from the acid geysers. That's my advice to you. And then we've got a crystal biome island next to a infernal biome, which isn't really an island. It's actually connected in one spot like we saw earlier, and it's also connected over here in two spots. So you technically can get to crystal biome without having to take a boat. Okay, how are we doing out here? Strong uh-huh is almost a 200. Flea's land is almost a 300. Realm of the Kachow is past 200. And the war between Ono oh Kingdom and Orstones has actually been ended. They have actually declared peace. Orstones' motto is we use our body in death. That's very cool. Ono oh Kingdom's motto is with beer we go. That feels a lot more like a dwarf mantra than an elf mantra. So maybe you guys aren't so different. You know, maybe you guys can get along. You both like beer, all right? Strong uh-huh. Their motto is just, we are awesome. Not bad, you know? Okay, now here's a kingdom that I've almost not looked at at all. I kind of forgot about them. Great Bach. They're guided by honor. They're just living in the candy biome. And they're going to have to move on pretty quick here because they're stuck on this island and they got nowhere to go. So hopefully they get boats pretty soon. And uh, they, maybe they go this way to Lemon Biome and not this way to Corrupted Biome. Because if they go here, they're done for. All right, you hear me? They're done for. Flea's land is up to 300 population. They have the best starting land out of everyone. So they could be a very big contender. And I put them here because they're elves, so they're going to need all the help they can get. So even though they've got 400, we don't even know that they're going to win this. But if this was any other race, I would be pretty confident that they would win. If this was orcs, 
And there's no way they would lose if this was orcs. So it being elves means everyone else still has a pretty solid chance. No actual transport boats yet though. So it's all just fishing and a whole lot of yelling at each other across the river, but no one's actually been able to fight each other yet. So we'll see. I just saw Flea's Land declare war on Great Vaughn, which is over here, which they actually cannot reach without boats as well. So, um, oh, we got a boat though. Who's this? <gasps> Uh-oh, Realm of the Kachow. Who are they at war with? Fleasland. Fleasland is at war with three kingdoms right now. All right, let's see where this goes. It looks like Great Vaughn and Realm of the Kachow are both loading on this boat at the same time. There are two kingdoms worth of people on this boat, and I'm really scared to see what they do. Now, note that this kingdom over here is Fleasland, not Fleeland. They don't flee from a fight. They're just really itchy. Okay, here we go. Oh my goodness. The war has begun on the front lines. This giant is, huh? Okay, this giant doesn't have the giant trait and his name is Daddio. <laughs> why are you so big? I forget why that happens, I don't remember. Okay, looks like Realm of the Kachow are way out here in the front. Is our boy still alive? Okay, where is he at? He's at home, working. Oh, 105, Congratu oh, 106, congratulations. Realm of the Kachow is out for blood. They are Kachowing big time all over Flea's land and population is up to 500, but dropping relatively quickly we've got a looks like a boat from great vaughn loading up troops like they loaded up earlier if these people head over to flea's land to help with the war that's gonna be a big bad time oh no kingdom just declared war on ore stones again we'll check back on you guys in a minute strong uh-huh still at war with oh they're at war with ore stones too okay ore stones is in trouble my guy gray bach has not left their island yet whoa we got a we got a rebellion strong uh-huh just broke off into two now they're at war with themselves that's gonna hurt them a lot actually okay flea's land is holding steady at 500 but we've got all sorts of people moving in all around the front of them so we'll see if they can start chipping away at them we got great vaughn with 300 realm of the kachow with 400 and those are the top three right now is those three kingdoms humans dwarves elves this is actually really bad for the orcs as a kingdom because this kingdom has been hindered by splitting up and now this kingdom has been hindered by splitting up too so maybe that's what balances the orcs is having rebellions on we never do rebellion because it makes it so much more complicated and the uh, orcs always win but maybe their weakness is themselves we are learning a lot today look at this flees land down from 500 down to 300 i uh, realm of the kachow has just declared war next door on Great Vaughn. I was kind of hoping they would keep teaming up against Fleasland, but now they're fighting amongst themselves. We got a rebellion over here. A hundred population just split off of Realm of the Kachow. Where's our boy at? Okay, he wasn't part of the rebellion. He's king? George, you dog. Congratulations. I don't know if they like voted you to be king or if you were part of the royal family. I don't really know how that works in this game, but we have King of the Kachow. Congratulations. What a promotion. Although, I don't know if that was before or after part of your kingdom rebelled. So I don't know if people weren't happy about you becoming king. I don't know. But uh, Rilo Empire is kind of eating up your land down here, dude. So hopefully you can get that sorted out pretty quickly here. Strong Uh-huh is down to 50. Bad Neck Nas. We're going to rename them to just Bad Neck. There we go. Great Bach is over here doing absolutely nothing. Flea's Land has declared war on Bad Og once again. Can they actually do something about it, though? These guys are struggling. They still don't have boats to leave this corner. No one else is struggling with that. Everyone else has got boats and they're all going all over the place. But look at all this land they could have if they just went across the river. If they could just go over here and they could have all this, actually have a chance. Flea's land survived the onslaught and they're rebuilding. They're back up to 450. Good for them. Oh man, look at this chaos over here. They looked so strong a minute ago. These two kingdoms split. Rilo Empire is just wiping them out, man. George has been dethroned. No longer king of the Kachow. How did that even happen? My guy, I'm so sorry. Where's the new king? Who could they possibly have appointed? Looks like he's a general now, so good for him there. But this loser, Uleku, is king now. He's sad. Yeah, he better be. This greedy dude just took the kingship from George. Although, I'd like to think George was just such a humble man. Maybe he didn't believe he deserved king. Although, now he's getting absolutely beaten up by an army. And, uh, he joined the other side. They punched him a thousand times and he said, okay. 
Fine, I'll join you. Just stop punching me in the face. Did George commit treason? Or Stones is officially gone. GG, goodbye, First Kingdom eliminated. So, George may or may not have committed treason because he lost his position as king, joined the rebellion, and is now wiping out his old kingdom. What just happened? Another rebellion! Okay, whoa, whoa, George, did you just commit treason again? He's king of the new kingdom! George, just have a little ounce of loyalty, will you please? So, Realm of the Kachao is about to be wiped out officially, it looks like. And what a turn of events, alright? Rebellions is making this very interesting. It seems like it's mostly the humans that are having rebellion problems. The orcs twice. Well, I guess the humans twice as well. Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. You're kidding me. Vage. Okay, what is what is wrong with this kingdom? Get your act together, don't tell me. George! Did you join Vage? Did you start Vage? You know what, I'm gonna change that name really quick. Let's change it to Gage, because it's kind of like George. Gage? George? Okay, so the human kingdom is now split into four different ones. I don't even know what to say about this, alright? You guys are chaotic. But I just hope that George finds what he's looking for. He seems a little lost in life right now. He's looking for something that makes him happy, and he's looking in all the wrong places. Okay, Great Bach has finally made it to the mainland. They're at war with the Fleas people. Looks like they're making some progress. Good for them. That's what they need. Take this land, set up camp and start expanding a little bit. I want you guys to do well. Okay, the orcs over here are still just smugly living out here. It's kind of annoying. Looks like they got boats now. So maybe we'll see them get off of this corner and into the actual world. I don't know if I'm proud of them for still being alive or disappointed in everyone else for not eliminating them. I don't know. Just very uh, weird to watch. It looks like these two orc kingdoms decided to get along, so good for them. No one's taken Lemon Island yet, though. Pretty weird. George is out here, 160, congratulations, happy birthday. Oh, 161, congratulations, happy birthday. He still has zero kills, which is how I know we don't need to remove his powers because he's not actually doing anything. Great Vaughn has declared war on Flea's land, the two biggest kingdoms at war. Great Vaughn is actually number one by about 100 above Gage, who is just barely above Flea's land, and then Ono oh Kingdom's in fourth place with 300. Looks like we got a war going on down here, I'm not sure who's fighting who. Why is the Rilo Empire still still here. Just get rid of them. There you go. Realm of the Kachao is still here. I guess good for them. They were the original. We got another split off. George, do not tell me. Do not tell me that you started another one. Bro, chill with it. This is his like fifth kingdom in the last five minutes. A little bit of loyalty. I would love to see it. I don't know if I can root for someone that's this cutthroat. What an absolute legend, but in like the worst way. Oh, you're gonna join them now because they punched you in the face? Have some backbone, my guy. Oh, he joined him. He's now back on Gage. Okay. Apparently all it takes to become his friend is just to punch him around a couple times. All right, Rilo Empire is destroyed. Rest in peace. I want to see George reconcile with Realm of Kachao and get back there, you know? I want to see them become friends again. Great Bach made peace with Flea's land after destroying their whole southeastern region, and they actually have taken over Lemon Island. That's going to be huge for them. They have this island all to themselves. They've been pretty much not doing anything, not really interesting to watch, but now I think they're going to start joining the big boys. Looks like the two orc kingdoms down here are at war again. Bad Neck and Strong Uh-huh. Adagish is out here being taken over by Gage, which is, I think, where George still is. Gage, yep, yep, yep. Oh, George! I can't keep defending you, dude. The E-Sign. All right. I'm sorry, dude. I don't know what your deal is, bro. Oh, what? What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do, George? You're gonna join them again? He's King of Gage again! All right, you know what? Screw you, George. <laughs> okay, looks like these two orc kingdoms have finally branched out of their corner. Oz as onto this mainland over here at war with Fleasland? No, they're at war with no one right now. Good for you. We got Bad Og over here at war with no one as well on the mainland. They might be joining the big ranks soon if they get left alone for too long. Fleasland tied for first with Great Vaughn for around 500. Oh No Kingdom at 400 in second place, or third place, depending on how you want to look at that. And then the Ezine. Bad neck, and uh, who knows who else. Realm of Kachao is back almost up to 200. Whoa! Oh no, Kingdom. 
Just branched off into a new one. Man, rebellions are brutal, dude. All right, let's remove regeneration off of George. I know people hate when I take traits away, but he can't live forever. I think I said earlier I was going to remove him immortality eventually, but I kind of like the idea of him just keeping it going until someone actually brings him down, you know? He's pretty harmless. Apparently, he just has a knack for starting rebellions and just talking smack, I guess. Flea's land is declared war on Bad Og. I don't think that's going to go very well for Bad Og because they're pretty small. And uh, Flea's land is one of the biggest ones right now. So rest in peace them. It looks like Great Vaughn is at war with Gage right now. Okay, that's pretty interesting. Great Vaughn is in the lead just barely, but they are. Imagine getting a dwarf win. That'd be pretty cool. We got Great Bach over here spreading more and more. They're up into 200. Good for them. Bad Neck and Strong Uh-huh still kind of squabbling amongst themselves. Oh, Great Bach has just declared war on Bad Neck. Not a great move because... Great Bach is actually smaller, and they've got all this land they got to expand to. I would have done that first before getting involved in wars, but you know what? Follow your dreams. Do whatever feels right for you. It looks like a lot of Bad Neck is actually starving. Yeah, they're unable to find proper food out here. They really do need to get out of the tundra and into the mainland, but they're not doing it quick enough. Okay, Great Bach has just declared war at Strong Uh-huh as well. So now they're all three of these people are at war. These two are still at war. All these humans are still squabbling. It looks like Rama the Kachow is now the biggest human kingdom again. I don't know how that worked out, but good for them. George is part of Great Vecchi right now. He continues to have no loyalty and be unable to make lasting quality friendships with anyone. Don't be like George. He's a go-getter. He's working hard. Uh, I respect that part. But if you can't maintain friendships or stay in the same area for very long, it's probably a you problem, you know? It's not everyone else that's crazy. It's probably you. We got Enor over here, the smallest kingdom I've ever seen. Look at this adorable kingdom, Enor. Let's call them Ignore uh, because for now we're going to ignore them. Oh no, kingdom is being wiped out slowly by ancient Eun. Oh no, indeed. Does not look good for them. There's so much back and forth. I feel like, whoa, Yiliz Oa of Earth. Let's call them Rebels of Earth because they just broke off the biggest kingdom in the game right now and cut them in half. Now they're right in the center. I think I'm gonna have to turn Sonic Speed on pretty soon here because this literally, as soon as any progress gets made, someone just splits off from their kingdom. It's a little hard to, uh, wait a minute. Someone just made a village called Ratpore. Let's go, dude, Ratpore. <laughs> Very cool. Good for you guys. There's just nothing. Let's let's fast forward a little bit until someone actually gets eliminated. I don't want to have to turn rebellions off. I like it, but I'm worried that this will just never end. Yeah, look at that. As soon as a kingdom actually gets big, they break off. That's crazy. Oh no, was destroyed. Ancient Eon. See, this is just chaos. This is madness. Great Vaughn just split up. Great Vecchi just split. This is silly. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, I like what we have right now. No more rebellions. This is just going to go on forever. Let's, let's leave Sonic Speed on for a second. Let it consolidate a little bit. We got Emoem. We got Realm of Kachow. Great Vecchi. What's this? Is this the Azine or whatever? Azine. Yep. Okay. Ancient Adon. Okay. Caddy Kingdom. Bruh. Every kingdom we placed initially split into like four more kingdoms, and it's just ridiculous to watch. It needed to be put to an end. Ignore is still in the middle here with one square of land. It's been like another 20, 30 years, and they just, they're just chilling. They're just counting on the fact that people will just not know that they're there. Oh, they're gone. They're dead. They finally got the attention they deserved. Hey, Bad Neck is gone. Whoa, Bad Og is over here. Why are they? It's a different Bad Og. It's a red one. It's an entirely different kingdom. Look at that. Bad Og, Bad Og. The game generated the same name twice. Okay, that's going to be a little confusing, isn't it? The Izine was destroyed. Great Vecchi is now the main Oh, George died at some point. Dang, that's pretty sad. But you know what? It needed to happen. He was causing all sorts of trouble. It's funny that as soon as the uh, rebellions were no longer allowed, he just died because he lost his purpose. His purpose in this world was just to stir up crap and cause rebellions, apparently. Okay, biggest kingdom is Great Vecchi right now. I'm just waiting for a couple of these small ones to get eliminated and then we'll slow it down again. Great Vecchi at 800. Ancient Eun at 500. Great Box still at 250. I think they should be doing better by now, but oh well. Great Vaughn down to 50, though. They split off too many times, and they were weakened substantially by that. Strong, uh-huh. Kind of surrounded by enemies right now. I don't think they're going to last very long. But bless them, you know? 
I've been sitting here for like five minutes just watching, waiting for someone to get eliminated, and it's just so much back and forth. It's just madness. How is Great Vaughn still here? They have 20 population. Why is no one eliminated them yet? I'm glad they're still here. Don't get me wrong. I like them. But how are they still alive? Rebels of Earth have been almost... Oh, are they gone? Okay, Rebels of Earth was destroyed. Flea's Land is back up to 900. Great Vecchi, 1400. It's looking pretty good for the humans right now. They got a great spot. They got... They finally were able to... They've actually been taking over a lot of land. Realm of the Kachow, I don't know how they have 500. They're spending the three spots they're here they're here and they're over here on the corrupted island oh man that's not good news i'll say that much okay flea's land is up to thousand now it looks like we're gonna get a human or elf win um the orcs are still in it they got a lot but they do gotta consolidate if they want to win it and then the dwarves are pretty much out of it except for this upper two kingdoms up here that are both just barely around a hundred population, so I don't really feel like they're going to be winning this thing. Caddy Kingdom managed to escape the war zone, set up camp over here in the jungle, the mountain jungle. Good for them, I suppose. Oz As was destroyed. Was that them over here? Did they finally just get destroyed? Looks like they're officially gone after all that time. Bad Og is still here. Is the other Bad Og still here? Yeah, other Bad Og is still here. Great Bach is down to two population. Oh man, there's no way they make it back from this one <laughs> they're gone who took him over who's this fleas land you maniac looks like the corrupted island has been lost understandable Great Bach was officially destroyed. Great Vecchi is kind of struggling. They do have a lot of population, but because of Realm of the Kachow also doing so well and the two of them constantly fighting, they're kind of being weakened. Look at this. They're about to lose a region. Boom. There goes 100 population headed straight over to Realm of Kachow and all the while Flea's land... I mean, they're in trouble too, but at least they have a lot of their own land. They got some of the best land too. So, I mean, we do have two powerful human kingdoms, so humans could still win it. Especially if Kachow keeps taking over Great Vecchi. But as long as both of these kingdoms exist, it's gonna be slowing them down a lot. Strong Aha uh -huh was destroyed. Oh wow, all this time we were distracted. Bad Og over here took over Strong Aha, uh -huh, and they're about to break a thousand population possibly. And them being in the corner is kind of an advantage because they're able to stay out of most of the wars. Well, meanwhile, everyone else is just losing so much population because of being in the middle of it. Caddy Kingdom was destroyed. Rest in peace. The dwarves are still hanging in there. Realm of the Kachow is up to 2,000. Flea's Land, 14 1,500. Bad Og, 1,100. Great Vom was just destroyed. We're down to one final dwarf kingdom, my guy. You guys just gonna wait here until it's all over? Just gonna hang out as long as you possibly can? I guess I respect that. Bad Og over here, split into two really small, really weak looking kingdoms. It's only a matter of time for them, looks like. Meanwhile, their new, stronger counterpart, Bad Og 2, Boom. Meanwhile, Bad Og 2 is over here slaying out. I don't know why Ancient Eun is still here, but I guess proud of them. Great Vecchi's almost officially gone. They're down to two small regions, about to be one small region. And boom, there it is. One region left before the humans are once again united. Almost 3,000 population. I don't know if anyone's going to be strong enough to take them down at this point, but you know what? I'm rooting for Bad Og or Flea's Land to team up. Ancient Eun is gone. Okay, Ancient Adon is, I think, the final elf kingdom beyond Flea's Land. Great Vecchi he's about to get taken over looks like from both sides bad og and realm of the kachow this is this is heating up big time and yeah turning off rebellions was necessary for this to actually move forward it was just constant it was fun though i liked that i like the idea of keeping rebellions on for maybe like a set amount of time and kind of letting kingdoms spread out a little bit and then seeing which of the rebellion kingdoms wins it. Great Vecchi was destroyed. Flea's Land was one of the starting kingdoms and so was Realm of the Kachow. But those are the only two. Well, actually Bad Og won. So these three kingdoms are ones that started here and the other three kingdoms are ones that were rebellion kingdoms. So it's half and half right now. I think Realm of the Kachow might be able to take this one. They're doing really, really well for themselves. They have some weird land over here with the Infernal Biome. Also, so why is the lava spreading down like that? That's so weird. It's supposed to just make a circle, right? That's so odd. Why does it 
Why did it? Why did it do that? I don't know. Um, they've also got crystal biome over here, which is pretty cool. And uh, okay, bad og is officially gone. I don't know why these guys are still here. Is it just because they're landlocked and no one wants to bother with them? I think that might actually be it. They're just too weak and just not worth anyone's time. That's kind of rude. Ancient Adon over here. Under attack, but very, very slowly. You guys gonna make a move or just stand there? I guess they just want to stand there and just kill the occasional elf that wanders too far, huh? All right, do what you want to do. They could easily wipe them out any second, so we'll see if they do that or not. Bad Og 2 is up to 2,000 population. You know, humans at 3,000, elves at 1,000. I don't think the elves are gonna be able to take it. You know, they kind of fumbled the bag like they usually do. Bad Og, being the orcs they are, do absolutely have a chance here. It's probably gonna come down to Realm of the Kachow and Bad Og 2, and at this point, I don't know who would win, because the orcs are so strong and aggressive, but the humans have so much more population. So I am very, very curious. I don't know how Ancient Adon is still here, but they're still here. The dwarves have been gone a little while now, and I stopped fast forwarding because Bad Og 2 just took the lead on population. They're now beating Realm of the Kachow, and uh, well, I would say that's pretty much only a matter of time now because uh, once the orcs are in their lead, they can't really be stopped. But you know what? That makes it interesting because they were a rebellion kingdom off of a rebellion kingdom, and they were stuck in the corner in the tundra and that's just i guess how op the orcs are because they were able to turn it around with so many things stacked against them and now they're gonna like wipe out this giant human kingdom little by little and this giant elf kingdom little by little at the same time and i don't know maybe if they can handle it maybe they'll even stand up against ancient adon the timeless kingdom look out look out they almost have a building there's not really that much to watch at this point it's mostly just them taking each other over very slowly a lot of back and forth so i'm just gonna let it run george was such a funny character early on i like the idea of just having one person to pay attention to for these videos it makes it a little more interesting to watch someone's life and what it looks like in the middle of this ridiculous conflict and george was such a guy you know what a character don't be like george though don't be like george Okay, we're getting there, guys. Flea's land is down to the final 10 over here. Realm of the Kachow is down to 300. And Bad Og is up to almost 6,000. All right, Flea's land is gone. Elves are eliminated. It's only a matter of time for these boys, and I don't think they can withstand the entire might of Bad Og 2. Congratulations to the winners, Bad Og 2. 6,000 population. Orcs win again because they're OP, and they really overtook a lot to get that win. At least they had to fight a lot for it, you know? It was not an easy win for them. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I hope that you like this. I know people always love these big world multi-kingdom war videos, and I enjoy doing them. They're always a good time. So, appreciate you. Give the video a like if you enjoyed it, and uh, subscribe if you haven't, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye